Hi, I'm Ernie Zor, and this, well, my notes say this is the 45th Frequently Asked Question video, but I know for a fact that it is the 46th Frequently Asked Question video, and it deals with a Windows utility called Quick Assist. In case you're unfamiliar, Quick Assist is used to connect to a remote computer, and it allows you to take control. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why do you need Quick Assist if you have Chrome Remote Desktop? And I think we've explained this in the past uh, in other videos or, or perhaps in, um, in articles in the law office computing either the emailer or the, month, uh, the annual catalog. You need to have someone at the other end. Quick Assist is, as the name implies, for assisting people, whereas Chrome Remote Desktop, you don't you don't need anyone at the other end. It's when you're out of the office and you want to get to your own computer, for example. So that's the difference. Now, one reason I'm so excited about Quick Assist is that when I'm doing a te technical support call, it lets me do probably in five minutes what might take an hour over the phone with the user and, and not even get done right in that amount of time. So it saves the user time. It saves me time. That's called a win-win situation. What, what I found reigns on the whole parade is when you start Quick Assist and it becomes a separate technical support issue, like maybe the user can't get it going or they don't know where to type the command. Um, and after all, that's why the user is usually calling in in the first place. They need help with one of our apps. They don't want help with Quick Assist, and we're not so keen on giving it anyway because it only makes the support call twice as long as it would be without it. No one benefits from that. Now, you might ask, if Quick Assist is so easy to use, why do we even need a video on this subject? And as I've said many times in the past, and I'll repeat it now, law offices, in fact, most business offices are busy doing what they do. There's little or no time to sit around in the office practicing computer skills, and that's why Quick Assist is so helpful. Now, because I've already installed Quick Assist on the computer that I use to record these videos, I'm connected to another computer here in the lab. So what you're looking at on my screen is not the computer that I'm sitting in front of, but it's the computer that, that I will connect to using Quick Assist. And I'm hoping that this plan works because uh, I'm already Chrome Remote Desktop into the other computer so that I can get it on in the video screen and uh, we'll see what happens now here's what I do I'm talking to someone on the phone and I say go into your search box down in the lower left hand corner right here where it says type here to search and type quick assist you, you probably don't get much past the quick and it already knows what you're looking for quick assist right here the app so I would click on that by the way I think if you have Windows 8 this only works on Windows 10 and 11 so okay there's the window the quick assist window it's you can get assistance that way wait a minute what did I do here okay hold on I think that's quick assist on my own computer am I connected that is the question yeah I am okay what did I do I'm gonna try that one more time Oh, there we go. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm not sure. Floating back and forth between two different computers, on, looking at two different computers on the same screen gets a little confusing. Basically, when you type Quick Assist in the search box, this is what happens if you've never used Quick Assist before. It's telling you, and, and like I said, Quick Assist was, eh, it's not tough to get started, but you got to start it up. you got to know where to type and everything, and not no big deal, but... A lot of times people get fooled or they get scared when they see this window coming up because Microsoft evidently plugged a hole or whatever they did, but there's a newer version available here and you're going to have to get it to go any farther with Quick Assist. So let's go as they suggest. Uh, what do they suggest? They say go get it at the Microsoft Store. Okay, open Microsoft Store. I don't know. Is it going to know what I'm here for or am I going to have to search for Quick Assist? And remember, we're looking at a different computer, not the one, uh, not the one that I'm sitting in front of right now. Uh, gosh, I hope this 
isn't too confusing. Okay, there's the Microsoft Store. Just popped into view. And okay, it knew I wanted Quick Assist. And I'll click on the install button. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to the device? And I'm going to say yes. And now it has honored my request. It is starting the download. Now, I'm seeing this for the first time, actually, so I don't know what's going to happen after it gets done downloading, if it's going to uh, automatically start Quick Assist, or am I going to have to restart it? Don't know. So, bit of a mystery here, building the suspense up. Okay, yeah, I think it's going to let me. I'm going to click on Open now. Now a second Quick Assist window is coming up. And if it doesn't get rid of the first one automatically, we'll do that manually. But let's see what happens. It's done everything automatically pretty much so far. Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't. It hasn't done that. I'm going to bring this in the center of the screen so you can see it better. And I'm going to get rid of this. Hopefully that won't affect anything. That's the old one. And there we go. Now, this is what you've... Oh, in your telephone call, this is what you're telling the user to do what we just did. You're going to tell them, type quick assist, download it, install it, open it up, everything like that, and, and, and there, and this is what they'll see. And then you tell them, uh, I'm going to try to switch back and forth between the two computers. Just in case this video is not confusing enough, I'm going to add a one more level of confusion to it. I, I hope not, but I'm just kidding. Uh, but what we would do is the person now is um, who's going to allow someone to uh, assist them, they need a six-digit code from the assistant. And now what I'm going to do is over here, this is the Chrome remote. I'm going to switch to the computer. Okay, this is the computer that I'm sitting in front of right now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, I want to, let me open this up a little more. Well, no, okay. I'm going to say, I want to assist another person. I click here. You don't really need to know this part. Um, it's asking me to sign in. It didn't ask me for a password. That's great. And so now, over the phone, you tell the person, hey, your security code is LC91CH. That was LC91CH. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, switch back to the screen that, w okay, right now. I hope I, again, I hope I'm not getting too confusing here, but now we're looking at the screen of the person that we're going to give assistance to. Let's get Chrome Remote out of the way there. All right, and I give them the code, and here's where they type it. LC91CH. And they, they click, after they type in that, they click on Share Screen. And now they're waiting, like a like a tennis game. We're going back. Yeah, they're okay. It's popping up on its own. Um, we're going back to my computer. How do we do that? <laughs> I don't know. If you're not confused, I'm confused. No, here we go. We're no. I'm only kidding. We're we're doing good here. So once the person puts in the code, they click on share screen. Now what I do at my end is I click on continue. And now, as you see it, it says it's connecting. Now it's waiting for the other person. Okay. Let's go back to the other computer. Bingo. And it says, hey, Ernie wants to share, take, take a look at your computer. You want to allow that? Of course you do, especially if it's Ernie. So you click allow, and now, okay, now the whole thing could crash possibly because I'm, I'm doing a lot of crazy stuff. Like I'm actually remoted into this thing. Now I'm connecting to it. With, okay, there it is. Um, I'm going to go back to 
Okay, here's my own computer. You know how you can tell because of this blackish background here, the black night sky or whatever. But now you see what's happening here is I'm on my computer, but I'm looking at the screen of the other computer. And, and like I said, the only thing that loused this up is that I was already connected to it by Chrome Remote Desktop. So instead of you seeing two computers, you're seeing two computer screens, but only one at a time, unfortunately. Gee, you have to think about getting some kind of split screen thing going here to show both of them. But I think it's, it's reasonably clear. And now what I'm going to do, um, we're pretty much done. I'm going to close the quick assist session. And I'm going to get rid of the quick assist window. I'm, we're back to the... Uh, we're back to the, 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 the computer that was giving assistance, not getting it, but giving it, and that's pretty much it. Now, I think this video will see a lot of use, at least from us here at Peer to Spring Software, because if we have problems with someone who can't get Quick Assist open, we can send them the link to this video, and in many cases, it's easier to see and do than it is to struggle with the getting instructions over the phone and no one can see what's on the other person's screen. So I, I think this video will come in very, very handy for offices that want to uh, know how to use Quick Assist or how to help the person at the other end, the one that you want to give assistance to. All right? Okay, I did my best. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I think you're going to find it useful especially if you're the, let's call it the de facto or designated IT person in the office, either voluntarily or involuntarily. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's a valuable, a really valuable tool for helping people. So, bottom line, thank you for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. And until next time, stay healthy and happy. I sincerely wish you all the best.